Hello, this is Alex, Oscar Zulu 9 Alpha Echo Charlie with a new video blog. Today I'm going to present a new project that I've been working on over the last few weeks. I'm trying to build a small low-cost ground station for the S-Band. In particular the part that is used for uh, space-to-earth links uh, in space research. And I I'm doing this because I would like to try to receive signals from uh, spacecrafts orbiting the moon. And currently we have LRO and LCROSS from NASA. LRO is already in orbit around the moon and LCROSS is on its way to impact sometimes mid-October, I think. And uh, I want to see to see if I can receive signals from them. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. This is the setup I, uh, I'm trying to build. Uh, you can see it in an overview. And first, I have a low noise amplifier with high gain and very low noise figure, which is very important. Then, a uh, coax cable to a bias T, which I use to inject uh, DC voltage into the coax that will supply the low noise amplifier with DC voltage. And uh, after that, I have the USRP, the Universal Software Radio Peripheral which uh, contains an RF tuner that converts the high frequency to a low frequency baseband, then converts it to digital signals via ADC and a digital down converter. And after that, uh, the digital signal is sent to a PC running GNU radio for software. And that's where we do an analysis of the signal. And using this setup, uh, I expect uh, to have a link budget which looks like this. And as you can see, uh, I expect that uh, I will be able to receive signals from both LRO and LCROSS when uh, they uh, use the high gain antenna. This is the antenna I'm going to use. It is a parabolic dish with a 60 centimeter diameter. It has a gain of 21 dB at uh, 2.3 gigahertz, which is quite good or very normal. Uh, now let's have a look at the other components in the system. This is uh, the low noise amplifier from Kuhne Electronic. Uh, it performs very well, uh, very high performance, very low noise, 0 0.5 dB noise figure and 30 dB gain, which at 2.2 GHz is very, very good. It's excellent, in fact. The bias T. I will use this to inject DC voltage into the coax cable and the coax cable will go to the low noise amplifier and that is because it needs power to function, it's an amplifier. And uh, I could use this input to, for the supply voltage using separate wires but instead of having separate wires going from the power supply to the low noise amplifier I will just use the coax cable for that. This is the USRP, the hardware part of the receiver. Uh, you can see there it has the antenna inputs and the antenna signal goes to the tuner boards, the receivers. This is a standard television tuner which has been adapted to uh, the USRP and it covers I think 50 to 800 megahertz which is standard for televisions. And the other board is the DBS RX, which covers 800 megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz, which is quite a lot. And uh, so the, the high frequency signal comes in to the tuner, the daughter board. It uh, down converts it to baseband, which is around, I don't know, I think 5 megahertz or something like that. It is then uh, converted to digital signal via ADC and then the FPGA does the down conversion and some filtering of course. And the digital signal is then sent via USB to the computer. And the, the com on the computer using software we do the rest of the signal processing. So uh, that's it. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I have the patch uh, feed. This is the feed which will be mounted on the dish. It will, uh, you can see it has end connector and the circular polarization. Uh, 
and the plan is uh, to have the LNA mounted directly on the patch connector to avoid any cables uh, between the antenna and the low noise amplifier which helps on performance. So that's it for now and uh, my plan for the weekend is to work on the antenna and uh, mount it on a tripod. I have an old tripod from a I use for photography and uh, I think it's perfect to have a small dish on it. And uh, if you stay tuned, uh, I'll be back with more in a few days.